Welcome back, Geordie lads. And today we are going to be thinking about, well, well, not thinking about, talking about Newcastle versus Nottingham Forest. Preview. They are back for the 2022-2023 season. I'm going to be seeing who I think will be in the starting lineup. My score prediction. What what I think the way Eddie House wanna play this season and a whole lot more. So let's get in to it. So number one is the team lineup that I think Eddie House wanna play for his first game of his first full season in charge of Newcastle United. So I think he's gonna play Pope and Goal. I think he's going to play Target, Botman, Burn, Trippier, Bruno and Longstaff. Um, Joe Winton, Almiron, St. Maximum and Wilson. That's the team I think he's going to play for tomorrow's game at home against Nottingham Forest. Uh, this is a little bit about Nottingham Forest. They are newly promoted. We have played them a few times um, in the past few years. You remember, we've played them a few times in the Championship. We've played, and we've also played them in the FA Cup, I think, once. The, the, I know they put, I think they beat us both times in the Championship when we went, when we were in there for the 16-17 season. Well, don't get me on that, I can't always get the seasons wrong when Newcastle went down. But and it also beat us three one in the in the when the season we came back up as champ. So it's they do have one up on us, but in Premier League history I think we've only had four meetings and Newcastle has won all of them. Pretty sure that is. So Nottingham Forest, if we look at a few players they have signed, they have spent Big money this season. Big, big money. Because um in right, we've seen Villa do this and they now we survived and Fulham did this a few years back and they and they ended up and the team just didn't go in time. But their danger player or danger man whoever you're gonna call it is Jesse Wingard. Obviously we all Oh, obviously we all know about Jesse Wingard. He he came on a free to them. Obviously formerly at Man United, and he was on West Ham at Warren, and he scored against us in in the free t when we won three two, um in lockdown, um where where we scored the winner. And and Dawson got a red card for West Ham, and he scored a penalty on that day. So we we every we we the the put in a few players, but I think Jesse Wingard be the main one to watch out for, and also the what lost Jens Spence who's went to Spurs. So that's one worth better to think about. Okay, he scored in the FA Cup quarter, not quarter final, um round of sixteen, um against Leicester when they won three one or four one. So, so he, the the last one day Javan they got rid of and they did and they did get rid of a few of the main players. But as long as we keep Jesse Wingard quiet, we we will be totally okay. So let's go back to Newcastle now. Obviously, obviously we brought in f quite a few players. We brought in a youngster who's went into the under twenty threes. We brought in Pope, Botman, and. Target on a permanent gun. Obviously, if you saw my video a little bit earlier, about 11 o'clock, it was posted about half 11, 12, 12 o'clock. Um, you know, we are pushing for James, James Ma Ma Madison. So, and I'm just saying, since that video has been uploaded, nothing's came out yet. But, in my personal opinion, 
this is the type of this is the I wanted from the, from when I knew the day the primary primary um like pictures would come out. Someone asked this, who do I want? I was like, well, I don't want any of the top six of West Ham. I don't want any t. I don't want. I don't want a get away game. I want a home game. So I was like, it'd be nice if we get a team who's came up instead of getting one of the big six or a team who, who who's always in that like mid table spot to seventh spot. And I said Nottingham Forest, and look at that, we got Nottingham Forest. And to say what, I think this is a very winnable game. Our first two games, two or three. Well, I know we've got, I know we've got Brighton after Nottingham Forest. Um, it's very winnable. So my score predictions gonna be three two. I think. Um. Wilson will score, Bruno will score, and I feel, and I think Wood will come off the bench to score. I I do think we we I do think we're going to have a good season that, and you'll see that video. You'll see that video will be waiting on. Yes, guys, three videos in one day. I know that's a little bit shocking, and the so. So we, I do think coming up to this this game, I am gonna be nervous as I'm always nervous in, with games. But I think this one is a little bit more special because I can tell you what I, I went to. I, I've seen quite a few Newcastle games when we played at home on the first day. I can tell you what we never win. <laughs> so. Fingers crossed I can finally see Newcastle win at home on an opening day. On like the opening day of the season. It's a very memorable game. We um everyone's been asking us to do good. You you probably if if you can't get along to the game on your half sky sports news. Um um well half sky sports. Even if you don't you can get it on four or nine. If you just got sky you can you can get um this Soccer Saturday program. Probably most of you know about it, and they'll keep you right up to date with um Newcastle, and they'll also tell you what's else happening around the country. Or you can, or you can use BBC Sport. I think all of you have probably heard of that, and you can also use One Football. I use One Football a lot because it gives me notifications if when Newcastle score, and um, when we're playing away. So. If you, before tomorrow, if you can download the app, like, after this video, and they say my favourite team is Newcastle, and, and you and just put, I want everything, like, every single piece of news, it to, it, it will tell you when the match starts, if there's been a red card, if someone has scored, and it's also got that same feature as match of the day, where, where it gives you, like, a wide ticker or whatever, I don't even know what it's called, and it also gives you stats as well. And you can also like pick your favorite country, or you can, or you can follow it along on Chronicle Live. And I will be doing my reaction video straight away when I'm at home tomorrow. So, guys, that's the end of the video, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Bye.